we would like to learn how to clean bank statement using Power Query. So this extract that you're seeing on the screen is an extract from PDF. So the first step, we should look at uh, this data as being mined all in column A, such that when you expand column A, you realize that all the bank statement data has been, been merged on column A. So the first step is to unmerge all the data, click on Merge and Center, then below Merge and Center, you'll see Unmerge Cells. Click Unmerge Cells. Once you're done with Unmerge Cells, click on column A where the data is. We'll take this then to Power Query. Go to Data, then get data from Table or Range. This will create a new query linked to the selected Excel table or the name range. The data comes from column A and optionally you can check here that my table has headers and click OK. It will ask you that some headers may have characters that are more than 255, which is the maximum for an Excel cell, which will we are okay with truncating. Click Yes. This will load in Power Query Editor, where the first step is to first split the columns by delimiter so that we can get each column, where we can get each text on its own column. So I'll click this column, select the column, then split column by delimiter. This will automatically select our delimiter. The steps that we are going to take for this transformation will be shown on the applied steps, in which case the first, we don't need the first column, I'm going to remove the first column. I don't need the row number one to row number seven because our headers are in row number eight. Click anywhere inside this, then we will remove rows. Remove top rows, then on the top row, we'll specify the number of rows that we want to remove, which is seven rows, and click OK. Once we remove that, we can now make the first row as headers. Use first row as headers as the next step, and you can see that it's showing up here. Once we are done with that step, let's go to the obvious steps of the debits and the columns where it has been allocated a period or a full stop instead of no space at all because it's a number. So I'll select the debit column and the credit column and replace values. I'll replace the space with no space and replace the dot with or the period with nothing. So I'll click the space bar, replace with nothing for the space and click OK. That will replace our spaces. Then the next one I'm going to replace the dot with no space at all. The dot here with no space at all, then click OK. Once I'm done, I need to change this text to values so the data type will be changed from text to whole number. Once I'm done, I go to the next um, columns. I know for sure that the ledger date and the value date can't have spaces. So I'm going to remove spaces in null, blank, and the obvious cells or rows that don't have any value. So I'll click there and click OK so that I have my preview with no spaces in between. Right, now my data is clean, but my dates have issues. You can see the date is not in the standard MMDDYY for the standard date syntax. So we'll need to load this back to Excel. Then I'll close, I'll clean the rest of the data inside Excel. I'll close this back and load to Excel. Once in Excel, I'm going to choose either the ledger date or the value date for cleaning. So I'm going to choose the value date. That is what I'm going to clean. Go to data, then text to columns. We realize that we have space on this, so I'll go to text to columns. Then this will be delimited by a front slash by selecting the front slash other then front slash like that. Then next, but I'm going to paste this on the next non-empty column, which is here. Then I'll click finish. Once I get the dates broken down like that, I use the date function to now combine this, the year, comma, the month, and comma, the date. Then I enter to get a valid date. Then I'm formatting this back to the short date format, which is here. Then copy these values or copy to from N2, control, down, copy, and paste these as values on the value date. And I paste it here, as well as here on the ledger date. Then I'm going to format both of these two columns into a short date format, like this. Once I'm done, I'll delete the last columns here, because I don't need right from column J all the way to column N. Then I'm going to delete that.
Finally, I have my data cleaned up. Thanks for watching. My name is David Candia.